good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, whatever and wherever you will. Welcome back to the Beat of Plan, playing Vampire Masquerade on the Tribal Mode. So, uh, last time, we got a little stuck with our card on the, well, the way down, but... Well, not but, I, I had to do everything over again, and when I came down again, it got stuck again, and then I noticed what the problem was. Pink and Enter, well, they were kind of bisecting the floor of this card, and therefore it got kind of stuck. But having said that, we're now here. So let's continue. Back. Get in the car and sign me up. We gotta get the hell out of here. Why do people keep calling me a kid or a newbie? I think I've shown quite well enough that I am more power than the general vampire. Wow. We're crowded over here. Wake up. Look alive, kid. You better be on your feet and ready to move. Jack, what are you doing here? You're lucky I got to you first. Anyone else and you'd be a pile of cinders right now. Why? What happened? LaCroix put out the word. He says you're in league with the Kui Jin, Ming Xiao's puppet. That you're the one who set up nines for her. See, he's figured it all out. And now your death is a big bullet point in his new unity campaign. There's a blood hunt on you. I... in league with the Quajin. He had to turn things around on you real quick since you found out about his deal with Ming Zhao. This is his plan B. Plan A was to kill you in Nines at Griffith Park. Yep. Now LaCroix is playing the victim. The way he tells it, you were like his own child. He entrusted you with so much. And you took full advantage, sold out to the Quajin, and cost the people their hero. They're saying Nines is dead and you killed him. <laughs> I knew he would turn on me, but this way, well, all right then, that bastard. <laughs> well, it took him some time to come out of his hiding. Look, I'm here to help you, again, but damn it, it's time. Time for what? Time to make a choice. What the hell am I supposed to do? What choice? You're gonna have to stay off the street and stay on the move. It's open season on your ass. Vampire's gonna be busting in from Sacramento to join in on this hunt. Oh, joy. You need backing. You need the protection of one of the factions. Friends are the last thing you want to be without right now. But you have to get out of here. <laughs> I'll leave a trail of smoking ashes behind me. I got a driver who can get you where you need to go. Interesting guy, you like him. But this place is being watched. He's across Santa Monica by the junkyard. Get there and he'll get you out of town. Sounds good. All right, get running. Hope you make it out of Santa Monica, at least. I'd like to see how this turns out for you. <laughs> Very funny. Let's take a blue blood black. All right, let's keep going. So you're not going to help me. Well, you're helping me, but you're not going to help me fight. Uh, also, you need the backing of another faction, oh, like the Anarchs did a lot, they're just sitting around, drinking beer. The Sabbat is purely weakened and destroyed, and the Prince is just... Well, he relies on lies in order to get ahead. AI disabled. Interesting note once again. I already see one vampire. Hey, I think normally you have to go down the right. Oh, I think it's time for some stealth action. And we're not too bad still, luckily. Ooh, we were lucky with that one. He moved just at the wrong time. I got him. Oh. This is a venture. No way this lady does. And that, I think, behind her is probably a gunbell. Alright. Down and out for the count. Let's see where we can go from here. Can we actually enter through the hospital? Nope, that is locked right now. Alright. Uh, I hate it when my wardrobe gets a malfunction, but there's little I can do about it. Hmm, it's a 
surprisingly no one is here. Can I... You know what? Let's... I know how to fix my wardrobe. Change the disc going, change the dark loading, voila! Alright, we're not allowed to go here. That's some media, I think. Oh, I love this amount of stealth that we have. One gone. Another to go. Is that also some mini? I reckon, or perhaps it is just an. Uh, no, it's not a Samidi, that is an uh, Nosferatu. Goodbye. I wonder if we need to go, that uh, we're now forced to go in that little alley to continue, or that we can just go this way. And this is blocked off. I'm not surprised. Pink. Oh, dear lord. Thank you very much, Pink. It's so helpful when you're not in the way. Most of the time these guys have nothing but been but the uh, bullet sponges. Hmm, a Toriador, I think. Hmm. We may not need to even actually kind of fight him. What we do is smart. Oh, that guy over there was not something I expected. Okay, nothing, no extra person on that side. Hmm. Oh, we've been found out. The Torridor had enough uh, perception to see through us. Who is firing at me? If I could see that, then I could take that person out, but I... The shotgun guy is annoying me. Ah. Interesting enough, this guy looks more like a... Uh, Oh well, yeah, indeed. He is a human. That's a Which I wanted to drink from. Thank you very much, mm, you two. <sighs> okay, so now we can't seem to get through here. This has changed, by the way, by the mod. You used to have, like, a very short route in order to get here. So, uh, I think now it's probably time to go into the sewers? No? Okay, confused. Because now all the way is in order to... Oh no, 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 it's not. I'm being an idiot. I want to say that all the, the entranceway to the other side have been shut off, but they haven't, of course, because you always still have this entry point. Ah, uh, I am a smart guy. I also look like a human. And I'm not sure of what that is. Let's be real quiet and let's try. We can have a fight. Nope, I think this is, that means that she then is a vampire. Okay, apparently this the death of this weapon. Uh, a silent kill by this weapon means you get a little tune. I'm not sure what that is good for because... Oh, I not really help with anything. Let's see if this guy is a human. I just want to know. just want to bite from your neck. Nope. Let's assume that that is incorrect then. Indeed, it is. Was a vampire? No. 
Don't know what Vampire Load. I was why the heck are all of a sudden the car wrecks over here? Oh, that is not entirely logical. Ooh. Interesting. Also, where are my minions? Can I sneak? No, I cannot sneak below this. Do I need to kill this guy? I am not allowed to... Well, then I'm afraid it's gonna be... And he's dead. Alright, so... How do we get out of here? Because there's clearly people over there, so there's clearly the way out. Like, I can see somebody over there. Hmm. Oh, that is new. Just notice this. Yes, very good. Well, let's take a blood bag again. I hope I can... Uh, in the original game, you could go back and get some blood bags for the final mission. I hope I can still do that, because otherwise this is going to be somewhat difficult. Hello? What are you? You are a mini-boss, probably. Whoa! That is a bit unfair, I might add, once again, because I do not have my companions with me. Where are they? Uh, he is taking a lot of damage, but he is also seems to be extremely unfazed by my black metamorphosis. Oh, I just activated it by accident a little too early. Alright, well, Gargoyle's killed. Let's take another blood pack. I'm sorry that this episode is a little bit uh, samey. Let's take another blood pack. Oh, let's kill this guy silently. Let's take another blood pack. Let's kill this guy silently. But this is just the easiest way to do it. This is a gangrel. I hope I can kill this dude. Because gangrels are the secretly the best warriors. Because, well, at least in West's unofficial patch. Because in their war form, they can get more strength than you normally can. The, the maximum strength cap has been eliminated, along that with some other powers, and you can actually get a ton of strength. Oh my. And the cap used to be down this way. And I still and I see it behind the truck, but I do not want to go on a run just yet. Who are you? I don't trust the guy that was over there. I don't know man, just drive. Get me the hell out of Santa Monica. No, get me out of this town. Are you the yeah, whatever, just drive. Very well. Alright, well, Yoza. Well, I say I thank you for watching, and remember, great peril yields great beauty. Because, oh, I just didn't even say why. After all, uh, let's be honest here. This conversation is going to take a while. Because who the heck is this guy? And that is, uh, oh, something I want to keep for the next episode. So once again, I thank you for watching, and remember, great peril yields great beauty.